Hello guys, uh, Raz here, um, gaming backlog vid, I uh, haven't been playing this much since fucking 20-15 years ago, uh, the amount of hours I've put in in the last 6 months, it's been amazing, and uh, yeah, I'm finally playing all my games, uh, it feels like it's been good. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go through a couple of games I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing more games than this, but those are you know just jump in and jump out kind of games. Uh, vacation is coming to an end. Uh, only like five, five, six days left. Uh, then I have to go back to work. So that month went up, went that fast. This fucking sucks balls, but. That's the way of life. Uh, so, games I've been playing. Uh, I've been talking in other videos about this game. Tomb Raider, I finished this game. Uh, I got like, went back a bit, up to like 80% on it. Uh, what a game this is. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of Tomb Raider when it came on uh, PlayStation 1. I mean, I liked it, I did. But uh, in this, you know, that this generation here, uh, they really pushed uh, that genre of games uh, to something that I, that I fucking love. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, pretty scary this game. <laughs> I didn't know a Tomb Raider could be this uh, scary, but uh, fantastic game. Uh, Everybody should play this game if you have a PS3. It's out of this world good. Um, I mean the, <clears throat> the mechanics, the, the gaming mechanics are fantastic. Um, I mean, uh, fuck this shit. So yeah, we're back here again. I lost fucking words. <laughs> so. I got pissed off and turned it off and I'm like <coughs> I don't want to start again so yeah um, I love I love this game um, I mean it's not it's not the maybe the best story you know uh, ever made far from it but it's very A lot of cool uh, weapons and a lot of cool uh, upgrades on the weapons. Uh, I, I like the enemies; uh, they are not easy, uh, not at all. Um, and the, the bosses are far from easy, but if you understand the whole mechanic of the, how to use your uh, different weapons and uh, uh, different upgrades of the weapons, uh, if you you know think a lot before. Uh, a big fight against a boss. It's not that hard, but yeah, I really like this game. Definitely uh, something you should buy. And uh, I talked as well in other videos, I think, that I started uh, the Bioshock series. Uh, I'm done with this, so I'm heading for Bioshock 2 now. I absolutely uh, love Bioshock. Um, I, I played it a bit wrong, to be fair, I think in the beginning I started over, but when, I kind of like when games are like, you know, like, let's say Resident Evil 4, there are so many different ways uh, of playing the game, it's not linear in, that, in the sense of what you have to do to, you know, to progress and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, be successful in the game. Absolutely love this game. Also pretty scary and weird and fucking. Oh, I like the mood of this one a lot. It's uh, it's very different from what I'm used to, but I like it. So number two is coming up, and uh, yeah, it's always two games that I always play that I showed the last video. I'm still playing. Uh, you know Mario Kart 8. You know I, I'm gonna play that for years to come. And this one I'm playing off and on all of the time, you know. 
<coughs> then I have a, I have a very good friend um, that I, I think we became friends when we were like four or five years old, uh, and uh, you know we were really good friends up to twenty. Then you know we separated, did different things in life, but we always you know kept kept in contact and uh, stuff like that. And uh, you know every other years we meet up and. Uh, often often we game I mean we game for this time we game for four days straight almost I mean it was just home to sleep for like five six seven hours and then back in gaming again like for 15 16 hours uh, yeah we did that for four days now and uh, yeah we've been playing games that I thought I you know really gave a chance and <laughs> I my god I did not uh, my god these this series these two games are fucking amazing I mean I play them but I think I gave them like maybe like four or five hours three hours maybe not even that and uh, you know if you have a lot of games like we most of us have you, you forgot you forgot that you're playing that game almost like you go back to work you do stuff and then you forgot about that game that you're playing it and it, you know, and it's you know it's something in the past, and uh, you forget it. So I went back to these games, and fucking hell, Metroid Prime on the GameCube. What a game this is! I absolutely love it. Uh, the mechanics, the the battle system, uh, the tightness of the the controller. Uh, Everything about this game, the music, uh, the f you know, the fights, the bosses, fucking hard this game. And I know, you know, I'm playing Super Metroid. That it must be hard. It, sh it should be hard, you know. It's love. If you play Metroid, it's a lot of uh, big maps, a lot of backtracking, and going back and forth, boom, boom, boom. Like you know, a lot of Nintendo games is, but this game is very much like that. And sometimes it's like. Fucking hell! I mean, just by pure luck, maybe we found uh, a couple of things, you know, to progress the game. I mean, it's so fucking hard this this game. I mean, the second one we played as well. In this game, we had to fucking look at YouTube at one point because it was like fucking hell. Who 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 can fucking understand to do that? I mean. Don't get me wrong, I like it, but fucking hell, this this is even better. This game, I absolutely love this game as well. Uh, with the you know with the dark world and uh, the, the light world, uh, and the bosses in this one, fucking hell, I I almost threw my waybird at least ten times uh, the past few days with my good friend. Uh, and actually my friend, uh, you know, a lot of Brits watching my channel, my friend, he's, he's actually British. But when he was four, he was adopted by uh, yeah, a Swedish family. So when he got here, he couldn't speak Swedish and I couldn't speak English. And we became best friends, so, yeah. Yeah, so this guy is English. Uh, probably going to do like a gaming video with him uh, in the future. He has a lot of thoughts about gaming, yeah. But yeah, Metro Prime 2 Echoes. Fucking hell. Uh, I can't wait to get on with uh, number 3 on the Wii. And uh, if that's even better than these two, oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. Then we started playing a game. Uh, and it's been so many years since we played this. And I have to say that the mechanics. Uh, you know, with the controller and everything, it's so fucking old-like and so unfamiliar that we play this this game like a couple of four-year-olds. I mean, we died all the time, and we we couldn't really fucking you know get back to how good we were back in the days on this game. And that's Metal Gear Solid, but this is the uh, the Twin Snakes one. But I'm definitely gonna go back to this game again and uh, you know learn all the uh, learn the controller again and uh, how to do everything because I 
I was mesmerized that I totally forgot everything about this game uh, the first one how to do it and my friend he, he's, he's a huge Metal Gear fan as well he's like fucking hell it's like we had we've been in a coma and you know forgot about this and uh, yeah so I was I was embarrassed even though nobody was there watching I was embarrassed by myself and my friend you know what the fuck are we doing so we de I'm definitely gonna pick this up again and fucking you know brass fucking learn it again and we also played a bit of Resident Evil 1 the GameCube 1 uh, this is pretty hard in the beginning this game I have, to say, I have to say before you get you know I mean a fair amount of bullets and uh, you know the green the green stuff so yeah yeah we, we only got like because it was you know Metro Prime took a lot of time uh, we only got a couple of hours into this one so I'm you know staying on with this uh, for the I don't know how many times I play that one and a game that I'm playing right now is one another one of those games that I played a bit more I played maybe six seven hours into this one and uh, something happened in, in my life I don't know I don't remember what but I forgot that I was playing this game and it went onto the shelf and it stayed there and you know collected dust and this is really weird because this is from a series I fucking love and I, I remember loving this game as well so now I'm almost 20 hours in on this game and fucking hell it's one of the best Zelda games I ever played uh, Skyward Sword what a game this is uh, if you guys guys play this, I picked up the the third stone uh, now, and I'm pretty far into that that world. So that's far. That's as far as I'm I'm, I'm I'm at the moment. I think it's like 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 hours around there. I've looked, but what a game this is! Uh, it uses even more, uh, like you know, the way. Uh, Zelda's always worked with his fucking cool gadgets and stuff but this game is taking it to a whole new level again uh, and uh, for me like the game before this one is I mean it's, it's uh, Twilight Princess but uh, I'm thinking uh, uh, Wind Waker now and you know the the way they use the mechanics and uh, weapons and upgrades of weapons is amazing in this game and I, I love the uh, the world uh, Skyloft world that I'm go you going back to all the time uh, it's like in almost all Zelda games you go back to the village or you know I love that place and uh, the side quests are wonderful uh, you're helping out people with a lot of stuff and you're flying around on your <laughs> I forgot what they were called now. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is absolutely one of the best uh, uh, Zelda games I've ever played. And uh, John, no, not John. Yeah, John. This is not a fucking RPG, mate. <laughs> don't worry about it. This Zelda is not RPG. So don't be scared about that. This is action adventure games. Uh, platformer action adventure games that is not a fucking RPG so if you're allergic to RPGs fucking play Zelda for fuck's sake it's like you're missing out on second it's like you're missing out on second base uh, growing up and being a teenager so now you maybe understand you have to play Zelda mate and I'm also playing uh, this game. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not convinced about this game at all. Uh, I haven't played Western RPGs. Yeah, I've touched them before, but I haven't played them a lot. I'm not convinced with this game. I'm not hooked at all. I think it looks like it's made ten years before this game was released doesn't look that good it's, it's a lot of I don't know uh, I don't think it's that good 
but I wouldn't play Skyrim and everybody says I have to fucking play Oblivion first uh, so maybe I have to play it longer is it, please let me know in the, in the comments down below this is one of those games that gets really good after like six seven hours to I get into it because I I think the battle system and everything about that is really hard for me that hasn't played like Western RPGs and especially on PC because this reminds me of you know old PC uh, Western RPGs to be honest uh, you know a bit like dungeon crawlers and stuff like that but I I can't I can't I can cannot really see what's that magnificent about this game that everybody says but I'm I'm I'm, I'm sticking with it. And please let me know in the description and uh, in the comments down below if you played it. Uh, should I stick by it? And uh, and should I, you know, maybe watch some YouTube videos how to understand the use all the, you know, ethics in a game because I don't really understand it. Or is it something that you learn when you're progressing in the game? Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, the Elder Scrolls form of Oblivion. Boom. Yeah, so those were the games. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the game room is uh, a game room. It's not. I'm not gaming that much in here. It's games. The games are stored in here. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's coming along a bit. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Just a sneak peek. It's just the two new shelves that I bought and put up. And I was amazed that amazed. I was pissed off that. You know, it wasn't enough, so I need to get more shells. So, yeah, the gaming tour is uh, a Ragger Walker. I made that one. Uh, uh, so, yeah, the gaming tour will be on later. I said in August or late August, but it's going to be later because uh, there's so much more to buy, and yeah, you know how it is. I'm not, I'm not fast, never been fast. And that's what she said. Be nice. <laughs>